The holidays are coming. Are you feeling festive this holiday season? No, not so much. I know what'll fix that, a festive glass of holiday eggnog. Well, for some anyway, it seems that eggnog produces either this reaction or this one. For those of you that fit the second picture, not only will this eggnog help you get in the holiday spirit, you'll be happier than a kid on Christmas morning knowing that this has zero sugar. Watch on to learn the secret. For anyone doing keto, you're going to love this recipe because it's full of satiating fats from whole milk, cream, and eggs, and has no sugar. But even if you're not on a keto diet, you will honestly still love this, knowing that because it has no sugar, maybe it's okay to have an extra holiday dessert, or two, or more. We'll be spicing this with whole cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and for those old enough, a little bourbon is optional, which, by the way, would definitely not keep this recipe keto. So, how do we make this sugar-free while still being natural and not using chemical artificial sweeteners? The secret is using either granular monk fruit or erythritol, which look and act like sugar. But, they're both calorie-free and natural sweeteners. So, if you still want to get your sweet fix while not raising your blood sugar and calories, this is a really egg-cellent way. Step one is to carefully separate the egg whites from the yolks. If you want a fuller creaminess, go with six eggs, but today I'm going with just four, because I figure I'll have enough richness from the full fat milk and cream. Make sure you put those egg whites back in the refrigerator to keep them from spoiling. It's going to be a while before we get to them. Then you're going to add your monk fruit, half cup to three quarter cup, depending on your taste, to the yolks and whisk or beat them until they turn pale yellow and become fluffy. You can see that I gave up with the whisk and brought out the power tools. Then combine the milk, cloves, and cinnamon in a thick bottom saucepan. Slowly heat it on medium heat until the milk mixture is steamy hot but not boiling. Maybe around 160 Fahrenheit, 71 Celsius. Obviously I'm an overachiever since I got to 174. So I'm going to turn off the heat and let it get closer to 160 Fahrenheit before the next step. By the way, do you know what you get when you cross a chicken in an earthquake? Scrambled eggs. Doing this next step carefully, along with not heating the milk too hot in the first place, is what will not make scrambled eggs in your eggnog. It's called tempering the eggs. No, not that kind of temper. Tempering means to bring two liquids you plan to blend together to a similar temperature before combining them completely. So I'm going to gradually add a large spoonful of egg to the warm milk at a time, stirring along the way until it's all added. Then it all goes back in the saucepan and cooked on medium heat until it reaches 160 Fahrenheit, 71 Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, you can use a wooden spoon as your gauge. When the liquid thickens slightly and coats the back of the spoon, it's done. Warning, do not bring this to a boil or else everything will curdle. Next, remove from the heat and whisk in the full whipping cream. Then you're going to strain the liquid to get out those whole cloves, and if you are unfortunate enough to cook any bits of egg, those as well. Then you're going to cover this with some saran wrap and put in the fridge, but press the saran wrap down to the liquid. This will help avoid a skin forming on the liquid, and let it chill for at least an hour. Now bring it back out, add one teaspoon packed ground nutmeg, and I decided some vanilla extract would be great here. And if you're adding the optional bourbon or rum, now is the time. Mix well, cover again, and return to the fridge to chill completely for several hours. Remember those egg whites we separated a long time ago? Their time has come. But it's totally optional. If you want to add some frothiness to your eggnog, do this. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you other than don't. What do you want to do, fight about it? Using a hand mixer, first beat until you get soft peaks. Then add a teaspoon of your monk fruit sweetener and mix again until you get stiff peaks. Then you will gently fold this into the chilled base mixture. I found that once folded in, it does separate in not too long of a time, so you'll have to redo if you come back for seconds an hour later. Pour and garnish with a dash of ground nutmeg and your eggnog is complete, ready for holiday enjoyment. Trust the assistant, what did you think of the eggnog? It was pretty good. Great. Do you have anything you'd like to tell our viewers? Yes. I have.
have some steps for you. One, like this video. Two, subscribe to our channel and put the notifications on all. And three, share this video with everybody you know. And four, comment down below. Bye. Happy holidays.